Welcome everyone in another video. Today we are going to talk about natural light portrait retouching and in this video I'm going to show you a whole process that I did. So we're going to discuss what I did on this image and for those who are interested in the whole real-time retouching you can check whether it's Skillshare or Udemy. It's some of you has actually my retouching course on Udemy. So this part, seven lessons, it's already an updated version as well as Skillshare. So whether you go to Skillshare, I know many of you has already account on Skillshare. Uh, some of you not. You can join for two months for free and watch this one as well as many other of my videos. For those who have my retouching course, it is in my retouching course, as you can see, I updated extra seven lessons for you to watch. Also, make sure you follow my Instagram because I just got this new camera. I'm trying to post every day and photographing this absolutely amazing city of Hong Kong. So let's jump to the Photoshop. And what you can see, this is already final result that I did over here. So this is the image before. As you can see, it has a little bit and different uh, dimensions and we're going to talk about this. This image was taken by Ariel, extremely talented natural light photographer. I would say one of the best. So the whole process for this image already started in camera raw in the raw conversion process because it was a little bit uh, specific. You can actually see the raw conversion I did and it's not only restoring the shadows that I did over here but I did much more working with camera calibration to achieve this special um, colors that are more lively because the main issue that many people have with Adobe uh, products the conversion of Adobe products is actually the color. So actually you can see I did not only restoring highlights here shadows but we are working with camera calibration um, so I changed a few different uh, settings over here and then I was ready to finally work with Photoshop and then of course our editing process and let me talk about this what I actually did here uh, on this video what I did on this image uh, to get the result because the results doesn't come with shortcuts. So the first thing that we always have to do in such a retouching is the basic clean up, which is cleaning on an empty layer. And you can actually see it wasn't that much. It was very fast clean up, a little bit on the hair, a little bit on the on the face. And can we see the difference? We can see the difference uh, mainly around her face with the hair. You can see small differences on the face where I did remove some of the spots, some of the pimples and other things like that. What I also did here is this very controversial technique of frequency separation. Why, why, why I say it's controversial because it is overused by many and it's used in the, in the wrong way. So how I use frequency separation and you can also find the video on my channel where I talk about the frequency separation how to use this in the right way. So for those who, who wonder, who are not sure how to use this in the right way, there is the video on my channel. As you can see, it's very simple. I keep two layers without anything adding in between for this image. I was just working on the high layer to smooth out her skin, but why? Because I feel her pores are really big so we can let ourselves if the model has some face hair if the model has big pores it's really good to use this technique to smoothen this out to even out just a little bit and keep it still um, natural looking so this is very important you don't want to overdo it then of course dutch and burn but what's really worth to mention about the dutch and burn process uh, on such an images like this one, so natural light images, is the fact that we never need to do that much of the dutch and burn. So you can see on the beauty images, when we work on the beauty image, the dutch and burn process will have a much smaller, um, probably you will see much smaller dots, much smaller li lines because beauty uh, retouch require a little bit more. And over here you can see it's actually 
I, I keep the size of the brush not too small, rather big, and it do the job as it needs to, to be. I wouldn't say it's a very long process. This sort of dungeon burn take you maybe 10 minutes. So if someone say one hour of dungeon burning, just forget about this. I'm showing you how to do this fast, 10 minutes, and the skin looks absolutely amazing. And on this level, our model is already clean. You can see it's still before the contrast, before in tones. So five minutes, let's say cleaning up, up to 10, 10 minutes of dutch and burn, and the model already look clean. So you are, not. I'm not saying you, but many people here are actually looking for the technique that will give them amazing results in two minutes but it's just pure laziness you only need like 20 minutes to make the skin flawless and rest of this is actually the color effect so something that makes the image even more special so after that i'm showing you my special um, techniques for the contrast so we are working with the masks unusual as usual you can see the few difference I'm show, showing you how to get creative with the masks how to uh, prevent any harshness of the lights as well and also a small job for the eyes which is really not complicated I made the videos on it how to work with the eyes um, so you should not have of course any troubles with it and then we have work with the tones. So this is the tones, I think, really change the whole climate of the image, the contrasts and the tones. Before that, image is clean. Now the Im contrasts, the image is dynamic. And then tones, the image has its own, I would say, soul. Um, so you can see a quite specific process. I applied just a color layer. And you can actually see I did not apply, I didn't change any blending mode. It's just a color. So I was thinking of the base for the image, what's the, what's the climate. And recently I really like to do it and I find it super simple. If I want to create warm tones on the image or cold tones, I like to create this layer with the base. Usually it's rather dark, uh, dark, something close to the black color. But of course there's some color. So in this, in this certain example is orange, but going into the black direction, so it's corn, sort of brown uh, color. Of course, it's only 5% on the color. And then I start to work with the color balance, uh, adding up more things. So you can see the first color, it's actually just making it a little darker, a little more moody, and then some settings for the highlights, some warmer color, a little bit of cyan, as well as something for shadows. For shadows, I used more red and blue colors. And then I did some correction on the black parts of the wardrobe because it, it was getting a little bit too red. So I had to bring it back. And at the very end, the stamp. And I wasn't doing much here because I was really happy with the contrasts I have here. So there was no need. You can, you can see there's barely anything done, I believe. I did something with the hue to adjust the hue because usually it's when I get to the final stages of the image, I'm still not 100% happy with the hue I could have, etc. But in this image, I think it was spot on. And of course, I work a little bit with the perspective. Why I changed the perspective, you can see uh, the hand here. I didn't don't think it looked that great. So I had to do something to make this look a little nicer and this is all process so it's not complicated it's not such a retouch it could take you maybe half an hour maybe maybe 40 minutes it depends if it's first image of the series because if you do more of the images from the same set you will be applying similar settings so the more images with the same set you would be doing it takes less time so it doesn't require that much time as some people might think no shortcuts uh, no mystery techniques and whole process is available for you if you want to see of course many of you has already my course so you just have to go to the website and watch the additional part again and once again this was the image we started and this was the final result so uh, thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed i know it's very quick i'm actually quite busy at the moment i'm doing two sets one is commercial one uh, editorial which 
probably will be visible very soon, but you must know I often do some retouching, but still I'm trying to record something for this channel, especially now I'm doing a lot of photography because I want to prepare a lot of materials on the landscape photography, night photography, and in fact, soon after I finish editing this video, I'm going out at night to search for amazing neon lights.